So, Mike, what's the current situation on board the Mir space station? And uh, how are the new crew settling in? Over. Well, I've been here for a while, so I'm sort of settled in, but I've, uh, I'm adjusting to my new crewmates, uh, Anatoly and uh, Pavel, who have just spent the last two days on their own for the first time uh, because Cecilia and Sasha left. Um, we did a fly around of the uh, station yesterday in the Soyuz, and uh, I took pictures and uh, video, which probably will be released on Monday. We haven't sent it down to the Earth yet. Um, and we basically, they're getting ready to do an EVA uh, in five days' time to connect up the cables that Sasha and I disconnected in our haste when the uh, collision happened. And now, and after that, I'll be getting ready for an EVA with uh, Tori to go out and uh, look at the, uh, do some repairs on the actual module itself. Over. And uh, with the arrival of the new crew, Mike, will you now be able to sort out all the problems aboard the Mir Space Station? Over. Oh, we don't know that. Um, well, basically, a lot of this, we have a plan, certainly, to connect up the cables, and I think the cables uh, inside the node here may well re-establish re power, but what Anatoly and I find on the outside, having to cut through all the insulation and uh, lay out this truss work to make a repair there, I think is uh, much more doubtful, and we, it's going to be a lot of work for these two guys uh, once I've gone. There'll be another six uh, EVAs probably over. Well, uh, you've been up there quite some time then, so I wonder, uh, would you be getting bored at this stage, or uh, what kind of things would you be doing to occupy your time? Over. Well, luckily we have a great view outside, and uh, you never tire of looking at the Earth from space. But uh, really, we've been so busy, uh, especially with the accident and uh, all the work that happened as a result of that, that in addition to the science experiments that I've lost, um, I've been added uh, a lot of general work with the cosmos here, um, just doing things around the station. And then getting ready for the CVA will take a lot of work up. So we're actually so busy, we hardly have time to um, get bored. Over. Okay, Mike, just thinking there from such a vantage point, uh, you must have a great view of the stars. You know, you must be able to see a lot of the, uh, the sights that we would take for granted. It should be uh, fairly spectacular views. What kind of things can you see up there, uh, Over? Right, oh, yeah, we have a fantastic view of the stars. One of the most interesting things about being in space is you get a picture of the whole galaxy, the whole Milky Way around you, and you can see the uh, central bulge in Sagittarius, and uh, you know that there is a big bulge to the galaxy just behind the uh, dark black clouds, the uh, dust clouds that obstruct our view of the central part of the galaxy. And all of that is very clear. In fact, the most beautiful thing in the sky at night is the galaxy, and uh, then the planets are the next things, and after that, uh, you know, it's the Earth, so it's, uh, Earth over. Okay, Mike, I'll leave it there. I'll say 73 to yourself and uh, all the rest of the crew on board the uh, space station. This is Echo India 9, Echo Yankee Bravo, signing clear. Echo India 9, Echo Yankee Bravo, this is Azure Mount 2. Thanks so much for it.